Hello, mercenaries, and welcome back to some more Stone Shard. Oh, no, go new game. Continue, and we will go back in. And this time I'm committing to the archery build. We are gonna do it for reals, I promise. No matter what happens, no magic, just uh, archery. We will read all the things, though, why not? I did. Oh, this is this, this done automatically. It's so nice. All right. So. Grab the scrolls. We already have the bow equipped. Um, seems wrong. What was I thinking? Jokes on you. I never think. All right. Uh, oh. They changed the spider on this flagellate. that I like the new one. Now, I was thinking that we would, in fact, not use the bow until we are sure that we have more than 40 arrows for the boss. Because we know that we find someone, some, some extra arrows uh, on the little mid-floor thing. But we can't guarantee that we'll find more than that, and if we want to use arrows against the boss, we will need more than... Or we will need 40 arrows, so I can't use them willy nilly before then. So, until we get more arrows, no reason to start using the bow. hope that makes sense. Two crowbars, okay. And we have never run out of pick uh, lockpicks yet, but we can use it for traps, I suppose. All right, on we go. Kill a bat. Now I'm speed running a bit. I don't think that's a problem. It's a short bow, not a peasant's bow. Hold on. Oh, this this one's worse. Okay. Uh, switch to the melee weapon here. Ah, oh, come on. Die. Oh wow, this is bad. Oh, we find a sword. So let's just drop Warsheth. Get the sword. Equip it, because why not? Did I already look in the chest? Yes, that's where we found the bow. Potato and a trap. So now we can use the crowbar to guarantee trap removal. Uh, I'm assuming, yes, that did use a crowbar stack. Get my sword back. But we don't want to use the crowbars on the chests because we never lose lockpicks ever. So why would I waste valuable crowbar durability on that? Here we go down. The tremors are coming from upstairs. We will get the better equipment. Leave the bow for now. Throw it on the ground like an adult. Uh, get this. This. And that. I suppose we can drop a healing salve. We should probably use some of it. So I did take some beatings. We will level perception now. For the bow, in preparation for using the bow, since we haven't found more ammunition yet, no reason to start throwing arrows around. The worst would be leveling the bow and then finding out that you don't have enough ammo to fight the boss with the bow. That would be sort of sad. Die! Okay, come on. We are in pain. Oh no, I'm losing. No. How much is he at? 36. I got second wind. Okay, nice. Oh ho. Okay. Uh, pain. We only have one ether inhale. Pain, pain will subside, so it should be fine. Um, let's use a bit of healing salve again. And we didn't take any real injuries, so it's fine. Another peasant's flail. What is this? A militia club. First time I see this one, but it's not a good item. 
Shelf. Another club. Heavy club. Well, a magic sword will almost certainly be better. Now I picked it up anyway. Oh well. A potato. Boil it, mash it, stick it in a stew. More crowbars. Some runs you don't find any. Alright. That's the whole floor. Yep. You know what? We might as well drop the other crowbar. Oh, I don't have a crowbar right now. Okay. Huh. Well. Down we go. I'll pick up the arrows. We'll throw this stuff away. Healing self. Base lard. What's that? A type of dagger. Never heard the word base lot before. Interesting. Drink here, fill the water skin, move on. Still haven't found extra ammunition. Come on, game. Alright. Search for traps. Oh, I had a feeling. Haha. <laughs> Well, this is gonna suck for him. A bear claw trap. Uh, is he stuck for how long? One more turn. And he's bleeding. And he's got a sick, severe leg injury. So. Oh, he's re re regenerating now as well as bleeding. Hmm. He loses health, but he also restores health. I don't think the restore lasts for as long. Now, see, the bleeding is killing him. Can't move. What? Why? Immobilization again. Increases dodge chance. Interesting choice for the design. Is that because you are moving may immobilize you? Yeah. Okay. Because of his leg injury. All right. And he can't use his vampiric buff for another fifty-one turns. So. <laughs> oh, here, here he comes. Okay. Yeah. one of these small guys. Oh, we decapitated him. A critical hit. Alright. I don't think I've seen the decapitation before. At least I don't remember it. Come on. An unidentified maze. Uh, so let's... Identify that one. Crit efficiency. What does crit efficiency mean? Higher. We also have crit efficiency on the weapon itself, so I mean, that must be more damage on a crit. Probably. Uh, I don't want to identify more. It's fine. Not right now, anyway. What do we find here? A. We have two good helmets here. Which, which one is the better one? The new one has better durability. Uh, let's see. Otherwise, they seem almost, if not completely identical. Completely identical. Okay. <laughs> but this one has more durability. So, a quilted coat. A again, completely identical, but with more durability. Interesting design choices here. Let me in. Search for traps. Kill him. Come on. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, we are dying. This is what is going to happen when you don't level your skills. We are bleeding, we got a mild head injury, and strong pain. But I can't stop fighting them. I gotta try to kill this guy, then this guy should be manageable. Oh, he's a flagellant. Oh no, we're dead. 
Uh, this increases morale. No. I'm dying. Pain shock. You can't walk straight. Oh, I created it. Four health remaining. I mean, fumble chance highly increased. Damage taken is increased. So if he hits me, I'm dead. And I can't really do anything other than try to fight him back, right? But he's got full health. <sighs> um. Wow. I could level something that may give us an option here, but no. <laughs> it missed. He said 79. He hit me, but I survived one health. 65 and I missed uh, he missed so 51% a crit and he uses some sort of ability instead of attacking 29% oh. ah <laughs> this is the first time I die without um, uh, to, not to the boss in the prologue after the after the remaster that's fine that's fair that's because I didn't didn't level anything I'm gonna do the same thing because I, I am committed to the bow strategy and I maintain that it's not worth... Oh, we should level perception and such. Ah, uh, let's do that right now. Because perception does increase my... What does it uh, Accuracy and crit chance and... Well, okay, vision and all that doesn't do that. Okay. Hey, well, we are taking some hits here. Surgeon's Toolkit. Oh, we leveled again. Uh, let's go and do that. Perception up. And we got one more coming in. Our wrist for the wicket. We are bleeding and we will use some Healing cells. Pain will subside. It's gonna be fine. Battle cleaver. Uh, it's better. And crowbar. Okay. Militia flail is even better. Or at least do more da deals more damage. I'm gonna assume that that's good enough. Uh oh, okay. Uh, okay, they can open the doors now. All right, nice. Testing it out. Oh, see, that's what happens when you just click, 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 click. Oh, I'm dying again. Second wind. Oh, -ho! nice. Okay. I mean, that's fine. We were being pressured really hard here. Fascinating. Twice in an episode. Alright. I am committed to this strategy. Uh, but I am maybe playing a little bit too fast now, so we'll try to be a little bit more cautious. Okay, the rat. Can we deal with the rat? Barely. Okay. No enemies here. Like, we are gonna level range weapons. There's no point in doing this. I mean, okay, so the taking aim makes it so that you conserve ammo a little bit better. And maybe I should just fire a an opening shot against every enemy like that. That's gonna make the fights easier. But we don't get that arrow back when it hits, so that's another thing. Come on! Unidentified sword. Well, we did get the arrow back when it died. Interesting. Oh, I'm bleeding. No. Oh, and we have the rings, by the way. Copper ring and another copper ring. Yeah, we'll use the rings. It's fine. Hmm. So all my complaining about this game being too easy after the update, maybe... Maybe there's been another update that I'm not aware of. 
I didn't check before I started playing today. Here's arrows. All right. So with arrows found, we can justify firing away with a bow. Very good. Perception. And then someone told me that this precision is worth grabbing. That's not how I did my archery build the first time I made it work. Uh, because I don't like the uh, taking aim skill at all. But the suppression here is very, very good. But it does require you to throw arrows away. In most games, like Dungeons and Dragons, you can get something called a rapid shot, which allows you to twi fire twice as fast. That's the same as not using the taking aim ability, because then you usually lower your accuracy and you fire quicker. So by using taking aim, you fire slower, but have higher precision. I like firing fast, getting more arrows out there, and then having more damage potential. So then the taking aim is not that good. Destruction shot is very good. That's insane, insane ability. In reality, we'll, we'll see it in effect here. Uh, and I will start firing away. So we can test it out. Uh, arguably an imbalanced ability. Maybe I can justify that sentiment. Oh. And this is the downside of the archery build. There we go. So now we use the distraction shot. Uh, distracting shot. Increases dot chance by up to 100% and lets you retreat. So we take, uh, we, it's two tiles. So, and then you get a shot that is lowered accuracy and damage, but it's automatic. So we go like here. And then instead of firing again, you can just move away. Uh, let me come down here. Oh, I can't, right. And wait for the distracting shot to recharge. You know, we can get one arrow off. And one more. Then the distracting shot is ready again. They never get to touch us this way until I run into a wall. Ah! And then I messed up. But it's just rats and bats. It's fine. Back in and pick up the arrows. And it does take more time fighting them that way. So if you run out of food. It's not worth it. Now oh, we got one more coming in. Um, fired him. Uh, go down here, and you can run around corners with that. Oh, okay. Let's just fight him. Heroism. Oh, and we got a counter. Very good. Peasant flail. Um, oh, we should definitely equip the sword. My bad. Good, good, good. Pick the lock. Oh. Uh, huh. Higher f or not less lowered fire resistance and then lowered block chance, lowered block power. No, it's not as good as the other one. So here we find something. Uh, same bow. Got a splint. That's nice. Oh, we have the surgeon's toolkit. So that that actually doesn't matter. Okay. No enemies. Search for traps. No more traps found. Okay. Oh, and the stairs are here. Acrimony. A linen shirt and healing self. A crowbar. Uh, we should be able to make room for this. Yes, yes uh, indeed, certainly. Good, good, good. The tremors are coming from upstairs. Go and loot the corpse. Get a better armor and a better hat. More arrows. Uh, what do we do? We need to reorganize this a bit. There you go. Better bow. And like that. And then drop this. Felling axe. A felling axe. Uh, and it's broken. Alright. Go and drink. Fill the water skin. And on we go. Oh, back we go. Oh. Ah. 
waste of arrows. Oh, this one looks special. I don't think I've seen that type of sword before. This is a steady uh, Katzbalger with increased block power. A fashionable sword is especially popular among the mercenaries of the Grand Magistrate. Uh, and this one is... Now I don't know. I don't remember the stats of this one. Let's just use the identifier. Jack and Falchion with the same stats. Now oh, this one has higher armor penetration, higher mud lot, higher durability, and lower body part damage, but generally better block power and stuff. High counter chance. Okay, I like it. Peasant bow. Lock, short bow, and enchantment scroll. Did we explore the whole floor? No. Dueling jacket falchion. Alright. I didn't even check the enchantment on it. Oops. Spirit. It's lock. Oh, he already stepped in a trap? Yep. Uh, but he's, he treated his injury. Stabilized. Interesting. Lacerate. How did you stabilize your injury? Huh. Alright. Get out the bow. Shoot at him. Fail at it. Uh, shoot again. Do a distraction shot. Distracting shot. Okay, and then we just fight him. So we don't have infinite arrows. I don't think I hit him the same time here. Undefined sword. So switch the bow, shoot at him, and then he's here. Okay. Ah, doesn't matter. Come at me. Another. God damn it. Yeah, let's fight him. Okay, he's hitting me twice. We should use. Some healing self. Quit the bow. Oh, and extra arrows. Very good. Now I can justify just firing away. Um, use a healing self here. Ah, peasant hat. All right. <laughs> in case in case of heat or rain, it can be rolled back a bit. Okay. I don't think we should use that one. Oh, there's a trap here. Why didn't I shoot at him? If you ask. That is an excellent question. For another time. Okay. Now we get out the bow. Because this guy cannot get to us. Let's use the aim shot then. Got it. Okay. Let's uh, level the abilities and such. Taking aim also grants crit chance and fumble chance. Okay, so I suppose then the combo makes it pretty good. Long range shot. Let's try going down this tree. So constant practice is a passive. Uh, use the taking aim then. Shoot at him. Okay, use the taking aim. Shoot at him. Okay. Yeah. Pick lock. Warsheath again. An enchantment scroll. And identification scroll. Let's identify a potion of deadliness. Makes you deadly. Very good. Uh, there's nothing here that we can throw out. And there's a healing salve. So we can use a healing salve. Sure. Um, here. We have plenty of it. Then. We could use a, an enchantment scroll or an identification scroll on the potion. Enchantment scroll on the bow. 
What's it? I never find better bows. We get life drain on the bow and three chance. Interesting. Uh, peasant sash, same durability. Oh, there's a box. Alright. Unidentified bow, but it's worse than the one we've got. Oh, oh. Alright, we'll fight him the old fashioned way. What do we have here? A war hammer. Is that better than an enchanted sword with extra block power? I think it looks like it is. Maybe not. I don't think it is. Because of the increased fumble chance and yeah. Oh, there was an identification scroll. Use it on the potion we just found. Potion of poison. All right. Uh, rats and bats. So let's just fight them. No reason to waste arrows on these guys. What is this? Poison? Oh. First time a bat has managed to poison me, I think. Not identified. Great sword and a short sword. You know what? We should dual wield anyway. Um, then I would put the warhammer in the other hand, maybe. That's interesting with the increased block power here. That really combos with the shield. But that's a really bad shield. Maybe we find a better shield. I go with sword and shield. We've been over here. I forgot where the stairs were. If we have found them at all. The stairs uh, where we come from is up here. Get out the bow here. Forgot to get out the bow. Take aim. Shoot. Take aim. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong button. Oh, I was clicking one. But let's detect traps. Okay. Uh, do a distracting shot here. Then take aim. Then shoot. Okay, nice. Sometimes the arrows want to stack automatically. Sometimes they don't. See here they worked. And up here. We must be a little bit hungry at least, and we are. Eat the bread. Grab pear and move on. Shift. So this is where we came from. Uh is this still the first floor? Oh, it is. Huh. Uh, fill the water skin and drink. Nothing else to gain here. Onwards. We should have equipped the bow. Okay, now equip the bow. Ah. Bad luck. Okay, now it's a game. It's gonna. St oh, okay, yeah, I can still shoot, even though I can't use abilities. Uh, we can take one more shot here, and then distracting him, and then. Oh! Okay. Oh, we decapitated him again. Nice. Oh, oh! Uh, let's see. Perception, and then let's try this precision. So that makes uh, taking aim last for two extra turns. Normally, if 
I didn't say it to uh, make so I'd make it clear already. It only lasts one turn normally. Um, this guy is gonna summon a goblin on us. Get out the bow. Okay. We will take aim. And then fire. So the take aim is still on. Mark of the feast. Increases damage taken. So wait, what? It makes it last for two turns. Increases duration of taking aim by two turns. That's a lie. Because the duration normally is one turn. So it should be three turns. But it only increased it to two turns. Alright. Disappointing. Now we use the distracting shot. Come here. Alright. We don't have any arrows quick? We do. Okay, but I can't see him from here. So take aim. Uh oh he's gonna close with me no matter what I do here. So get out the weapons. Oh we are in a bad spot. I can't dodge his explosion now. I gotta go here. And then go here. An unidentified staff. Oh no! Oh. God damn it. I wish it would stop when it saw an enemy. Again. Oh, uh he spawned the got him in front of us this time. Let's see. I can shoot once. I guess I got the distracting shot as well. So then take aim. Fire once. Ah. Oh, we get to counter for free. Nice. Now the bow. Make sure we have ammo equipped. Here it comes. Aim. Oh. Okay. And aim again. Nice. And it's traveling stuff. Just check what's up here. I should also use a healing salve, at least one. Let's use multiple, because why not? Open. Loot. Oh, and food. Lots of food. Very good. Huh. We don't have anything we want to get rid of here. We are never going to starve, that's nice. We don't even have a crowbar to throw out. Um, we know there's food here if we need it. Better boots. And magic nonetheless. Or... Hmm, wrong word. Come on. Oh, because there's an enemy. Uh, hmm. Okay, get out the bow. Take aim. Distracting shot. And then switch back. We got one hit off on him. Okay. So, now we... Level perception again. We are level 6. And then we get the long range shot, which increases, which is a special ability shot that has extra range, and the, for each tile travel, the arrow gains increased damage. So the further away we shoot, the better. Another arrow here. Um, yeah, let's say, so for the next turn, and this one does not have increased accuracy, so you would want to take aim, then use long range shot, then fire normally, take aim, fire, and down he goes. Plenty of arrows. 
check for traps here. Oh, uh, take aim, long range shot. Okay, guess that counts as a miss. Take aim. A disenchantment scroll. Haven't found any cursed items yet. A double and a splint we don't need. Oh, get out the bow. And here we find a better shield and an identification scroll. This is identified right away. Anti venom long shield. Poison resistant, doesn't matter, but this combos nicely with the sword that we have. So I will equip it. Have to move it in here before we can move it up there. I don't know if that's true while well, we have the inventory open actually, so that may have been unnecessary. Oh, and then we can't. Um, we don't have room for the arrows. It's only two arrows. Okay. Did I forget something? No. Herbal extract. All right. And an ether inhaler. Huh. Well, we are finding all the good stuff. We don't need the splint. There's a key for every lock. Ain't that the truth? And this apprentice cowl is for magic. Cool cowl, but not necessary for this run. Ah, we will leave those two arrows. It's fine. Forgot to equip the bow. Take aim. Shoot at him. Then distracting shot. Get up here. Take aim. And ah. Search the toolkit again. Sixty crit on a an arrow, that's pretty insane. So then we drop this arrow stack and then pick up this arrow and then this arrow and then that works for some reason. Ah, oh. aim, long range, almost shot, and down it goes. All right, here we can see them from far away. Aim, good. Can I see them here? No. Uh, but we take aim. Now I can see them. No. Wait one turn. And then the long range is available. Oh, and it moved forward for some reason. Annoying. Um, take aim. Distracting shot. Equip melee and fight. Okay, back to bow. Take aim. Kill the wizard. Distracting shot. And let's just play this safe. Run away. Ah, I'm gonna run myself into a corner here though. So one long range shot here. It does deal extra damage. Only at the cost of energy. Here we get a shot for free. And then now I can't dis disengage from him, but we need to be able to dodge his explosion, which we can do from here, so it's fine. Okay. More arrows. So drop the arrows, then pick up arrows again. A 
it's nice that you can recover this many arrows or it would not be a viable build at all and of course we find a better bow in this run where i decide to use an enchantment scroll on the bow so it has higher accuracy and higher base damage life drain is not super necessary four percent of if we deal 60 damage it's like two health or something like that and the bleed chance is nice but the higher accuracy lower crit chance higher fumble chance uh makes it not worth grabbing i don't want it unless we can afford another uh, identif uh enchantment scroll on it which we might we need food and drink from the water skin Have they made the levels bigger? I feel like it's bigger. We also level 7 again. So I did get Mirage. Now can we can level no more in here. Get out the bow. Got the bow. Now we can use the suppression, which is a really cool thing. This one lasts for 6 turns. Uh, each successful attack prolongs the duration of this effect by two turns and grants an extra stack of it. And it stacks with uh, cooldown duration lowered, knockback chance increased, so you knock back with your uh, arrows, and then lower skill cost on the other things. So you would activate a rush, then you would activate taking aim, then use a long range shot, then fire normally, take aim. And we see it increases the stack up here or and the duration. All right. Well, we destroyed everyone. Another dead end. Uh, boots, undefined potion, enchantment scroll for the other bow. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then we will try to enchant it. Um, uh, an identification scroll could be used on a potion of energy drain. Allows you to drain energy with your physical attacks. All right. Healing cells. Um, let's drop this on the floor for now. Okay, so we definitely need to. But we don't. We are not wounded at all. Um, we don't need that many healing cells. This one stabilizes an injury. I don't think the Surgeon's Toolkit stabilizes an injury as a base. Huh. Let's go and enchant that other bow. For starters. Come on. Come on. Uh, here, use it and increases block chance and frost damage. So this is an increase to damage. Now it deals 27 uh, damage instead. So that must be better. Sure. And I don't know if frost damage does anything for us, but you would think that it does. We can use the other enchantment scroll on like the armor. Can you use it on arrows? No. Let's go for the armor. Healing efficiency and frost resistance. Fine. Do, 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 do. So this was another dead end. Where will we go now? Down here. Oh, we have the bow out. Uh, lock. Activate Barrage, take aim, shoot. Oh, we should have used long range shot, let's do that now. And then take aim, distracting shot. Ah, a graphical glitch. Wait for it, there we go. And kill. Undefined maze. A 
antitoxin. I don't know. So many healing cells. I think the antitoxin is worth more. And there's the stairs. Which means that we are at the end of the run. Let's go back. Make sure that I didn't miss any corridors. I don't think I did. We had the Apprentice Cow Splint here. Um, for the boss encounter, we want to eat some food now anyway. We have plenty. Disenchantment scroll Splint. Here's the smoked ham that I wanted to take a bite of. Before we go on. And in fact, it's better than the other types of food. So just keep it and then take the bandage and the... Oh, I didn't drop anything else. Tomato then. All right. Have we forgotten anything? I don't think so. We have satiety. satiety. Um, and here, not even close to leveling, so it's fine. No geomantic stones to put up. Let's see, let's drink a, an unidentified potion. Do we have any identification scrolls? Enchantment scroll, we have one off. Use that, and enchant the helmet. Dueling flat kettle helmet. Counter chance increased and damage reflection increased. Very cool. So we, I, th I still think we go melee against the statues. You can shoot at them, but it, they take severely less damage from piercing, at least in my experience. Let's see, we drink a potion here of anti-venom. That's for what we, if you were already poisoned or toxic, so didn't do anything. And then we got another one here that was a fusion of, potion of confusion. Oh no. So it could have ended up moving the, the wrong way and into the boss encounter to start it. I would just move around for 40 turns here. Do 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 Look at him not going where I want him to go. <laughs> no, now we move back up. So if you want to go that way, Varen. Yes, please. We have toxin intoxication. Might as well get rid of it. Uh, so that is an anti-toxin. Then eat and drink. We are still intoxicated. We have one antitoxin and a an antidote, and that's all. Disenchantment scroll isn't worth anything. Potion of deadliness and a potion of energy drain, so we can gain more energy in combat. This one also intoxicates us. Damn it. Uh, so oh, we have an ongoing intoxication change right now because we already consumed an antitoxin and it would lower it to zero currently. Yeah, goes down pretty quickly. All right, so yeah, I think we are ready. And on we go. Gotta go up and kill a statue here. This is where the dual building is nice. But we have really high counter and block chances, so I'm gonna just... Oh no! Okay, I thought I clicked. Let's just use a healing cell right now. To start the passive healing of that. Okay, gotta dodge this. Free counter. First statue down. 
Now we could shoot at the other one. Uh, taking aim. And then... Oh, we can't use... Oh, we can use the uh, long-range shot on it. I don't think he wants to shoot at it from here. No. But then he moved and shot in one uh, action. Interesting. <sighs> Go for barrage. Take aim. Uh, distracting shot. Ah, we gotta go melee here. But I could just shoot it down instead of moving one, two, three, four, five turns. Let's try it. We dealt good damage with the long range shot before. Twelve is fine. Gotta go melee. Get rid of him. Take aim. Long range shot. 33. Okay, you can shoot these things down. Alright. No to you, Mancy Boulders. But I am confident that we will beat him here. Now we go. Maybe not Potion of Deadly's Nest just yet. Let's see, we can... We don't really need anything here. We don't have pain. We have a little bit of pain. We could do Ether Inhaler. But he's not going to be able to hit me. Like, he's not going to be able to hit me at all. We don't need to use Suppression. Doesn't really do anything for us against him. I don't think we can knock back him. And cooldown duration doesn't really matter. Lower skills energy cost, but you also spend 16 energy activating it, so it doesn't help all that much. Let's just take aim. Uh, gotta move out of the way of this, of course. Move up here. Distracting shot. Move. Take aim. Long range. Oh, he landed next to me here. Um, no, we don't want to fight him. Play it safe. Distracting shot. Take aim. Shoot. Uh, just a normal shot here. 75. Okay, but now we are in trouble. I kind of got to have to move away, move away here. And he will get a free attack opportunity. But if, if, if I hadn't, we wouldn't have been able to dodge this. Take aim here. Long range shot. Distracting shot. Take aim. Ah. Uh, we don't need it, but drink the potion of deadness. What does it do? Rage, crit efficiency, crit chance, and weapon damage. Wow. <laughs> we should have drawn, uh, drunk that earlier, of course. Drink the potion of energy drain, just for the flare of it. Take aim. Distracting shot. And 108. Okay. And I don't think we have to continue it here. I guess I might as well do the outro. But I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna skip the dialogue anyway, so it doesn't really matter. We'll end it here. We've got the stone shard. Throw it on the ground like an adult and say thank you guys for watching. Uh, Archery build is OP. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching and 